Hi guys, today we're going to learn on how to install Java NetBeans on your Kali Linux. So just go to google.co.za.com Then type in NetBeans NetBeans download When you're there, click on this link <clears throat> Yes, when there it's gonna detect which operating system you're using, so you can select each and anything you want here. So, but me, I took this, I downloaded this. Click on download. I've downloaded already this. You can see here it is. Uh, let me show this NetBeans, whatever. So, then after there, you go to your after download, you go to your terminal and type type in cd. Let me see cd. You type in CD to download. You CD to download. Download. Then it's all CD to download. Hit enter. So you're there. Uh, then what you do, you say CH mod. So you're trying to change the permission on this folder plus uh, x there's no space then you put this put that exact because this is the the folder i have in your what in your downloads you paste it there you say enter when you enter then you 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 type in dot forward slash you paste that then say enter so this simply means uh, the pop-up is gonna show it's gonna pop up so that you start installing so already have installed this that's why it can not install so but that's the only proce process you are gonna pass through to install this so after installation you see when this pops pop up is gonna be like in Windows you just say next next then after the installation is done when the installation is done what you're gonna do you you can go and click here and type in NetBeans. So your NetBeans is gonna come. So if you want to put it on favorite, you can add it there. When after adding that, click on Windows so you can get it here. So you click here and uh, you start enjoying your NetBeans 8.0.2. So you can see here you can create a new project. It's a new project. Uh, if you wanna create a Java application, you just say next. If you wanna go to PHP or HTML5 or C, whatever you want to, uh, then you save your project. Let me say go next. Uh, activating Java Standard Edition. So your first application, you can call it any name or call it Musa. Let's say MUSA. Uh, then say finish after the completion so it means now you have your java application so you can just type in anything here or create your classes here uh, all your what your programs and methods and stuff so you're good to go thanks guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe on our channel we're gonna do more java uh, on this channel so don't lose a chance to learn more on java thanks for watching guys